my name's Beth Meek and I'd like to talk to you about why, as a GP, I think the RESPECT process is so important. RESPECT stands for Recommended Summary Plan for Emergency Care and Treatment and is only for use when a patient is no longer able to express their wishes in an emergency situation. It can be used to um, point to other sources of information such as an advanced care plan or an advanced decision to refuse treatment and can be particularly useful as a summary of the patient's wishes, particularly if those wishes change over time um, during the course of their illness. As a process, it enables the clinician and the patient to reach a shared understanding of their present state of health and what they expect to happen in the future, as we know that this often differs um, and what we understand as clinical staff can be very different so that, that the patient and their family or carers can understand and their understanding and expectations for their future. The RESPECT form allows you to make a record of a conversation that you've had with the patient or more likely the conversations that you've had over time um, and it allows you to use their own words if uh, appropriate to record what their wishes and the things that they would like to happen in an emergency situation. Um, the big difference with the RESPECT form and the DNA CPR forms that we were used to using before is that RESPECT can be used whether a patient wants to be resuscitated or not. Um, and there is a box to complete um, to say whether they, they want to be resuscitated or not. Now during the pandemic, possibly more than ever, it's important that people are in the right place for their care at the right time. There are obvious risks to moving people from their usual place of care so any decision to do so needs to be made with as much information as possible. It encourages an open and honest discussion between the clinician and the patient um, and can also suggest to patients that there are other options available to them in an emergency um, whereas people may feel that their only option is to go to hospital for example. By having a respect form available um, it ensures that the person making decisions in an emergency, um, for example the ambulance crew, out of hours GPs, um, care home staff, um, can be confident that they're basing their decisions on the patient's wishes. Or in the case where a patient has lacked capacity when a respect form is being um, drawn up then they can be aware that they, they, they're making a decision on the patient's best interests.